Now it seems like there's always a rumor revolving around the Prime Trilogy being released on the Switch, whether it's through leaked retails from random sites, announcements in non-existent directs, or industry insiders telling us that it's gonna happen with little information to back it up. This stuff has been going on since November, and a lot of people want the Prime Trilogy to be released on the Switch. So for today's video, I thought it'd be pretty cool to basically have a discussion talking about whether Nintendo should release the Prime Trilogy on the Switch and all that sort of stuff. Talk about some of the pros and cons and just see whether it's worth it or not for Nintendo, so let's get started. Now obviously, as a fan, I want Nintendo to release the Prime Trilogy on the Switch. It's a great game honestly. Having the ability to play games like Metro Prime 1, Prime 2, and Prime 3 on my current console on the go, it's any fan's dream honestly. And with Nintendo announcing Prime 4, it would be a cool way for many fans like me to refresh on what the story of the Metro Prime Trilogy was, re-experience the game to get hyped up for Prime 4, and giving us fans something to do while we wait for this game to be released. Also with Prime 4 being what we assume is the the fourth game in the overarching story of the Prime Trilogy, it would be kind of intimidating for someone who's never played any of the Prime games to try to pick up Prime 4 because there's a chance that they could lose out on a lot of cool elements of the story without knowing anything about the previous games. So releasing the Prime Trilogy on the Switch would be a good way for fans to catch up on the story, experience the Prime Trilogy for the first time, and get ready for Prime 4's release and announcement. It honestly makes a lot of sense. It would be a cool way to generate hype for Prime 4, a cool way for hardcore fans to support their favorite franchise, and a really great way to get newcomers invested into the story. The issue though is that Nintendo has already released a Prime Trilogy a couple of times. Not only can you play Prime 1 and 2 on the GameCube and Prime 3 on the Wii separately, but you can play the entire trilogy on the Wii with the Metro Prime Trilogy collection. You can play the entire trilogy again on the Wii U on the online store. And the fact that people want the trilogy again for the Switch, having it three times in a row, it just seems kind of redundant and unneeded. And Nintendo's perspective, it just kind of seems unnecessary. Aside from the issue of multiple consecutive releases, Metroid hasn't really done the best when it comes to sales. The Prime Trilogy on the Wii didn't even break a million copies. And with Nintendo seemingly putting a lot of effort into Metro Prime 4, I don't think they'll want Retro Studios to like divide up their team to have them focus on porting over the trilogy again over to the Switch, at least not until Prime 4 has been finished. Of course Nintendo could always just hire a different company to focus on porting the game while leaving Retro Studios doing their own thing and now that I think about it, that could be a viable option. But relatively speaking, with how poor Metro Prime Trilogy has done when it comes to sales, I don't think Nintendo would want to put in a lot of effort and money into porting over a game again if it's just not going to do that well. And there's this issue that I've seen a lot of people talk about saying that porting over something from the Wii onto the Switch isn't going to be as simple as just moving a couple files over and stuff like that. You gotta work around the whole new issue of a different control scheme, working on how you're going to play the game if it's docked or not. And how are they going to make the game visually pleasing, upscaling the game to look high resolution without messing up the textures and crumpling up the imagery. It's going to take a lot of effort to make this game work on the Switch. And honestly, I don't think Nintendo will want to put in a lot of money and effort and resources for something like the Prime Trilogy if it's not going to do as well as it should. Although looking back and thinking more positively, maybe a Switch version of the Prime Trilogy can do a lot better than the Wii or Wii U version of the Prime Trilogy. The problem with the Wii version of the Prime Trilogy was just that there was kind of no need to re-release all three games all over again on the Wii. With the Wii's backwards compatibility, a lot of people who owned Metro Prime 1 and 2 on the GameCube can easily play it on the Wii and have no real issue. And the fact that the Prime Trilogy was concluded two years prior to the Prime Trilogy's release, there was kind of no real hype to boost the game's sales. On the subject on the Wii U's Prime Trilogy port, sure, the Prime Trilogy is like around 20 bucks on the Wii U and that would be a cool way to motivate a lot of people to buy the game because it's really cheap. The issue though was just that the Wii U bombed in sales. Not a lot of people really owned a Wii U. So sales for the Prime Trilogy was already going to be bad regardless. That's why Nintendo's already ported a lot of their own Wii U games onto the Switch with that console having a lot wider range of audiences to reach. Those ports of those games are obviously going to do a lot better now and I think Nintendo already knows that. There are more people out there who would buy the Prime Trilogy for their console, which is something the Wii U couldn't really do. And with the hype of Prime 4 buzzing around the community, it could motivate a lot of people. Anything between new fans to veteran fans who go out and buy the Prime Trilogy, which is something the Wii version couldn't really do. The Switch version of the Prime Trilogy could be a pretty successful port. And I'm really hoping Nintendo will port this game to the Switch, despite the possible hurdles that could hinder the game's release and sales. 
But that's basically my thoughts about the Metro Prime Trilogy being ported onto the Switch. What I want to know is what you guys think. Do you believe or hope that the Prime Trilogy would ever be ported onto the Switch? Do you think that for some whatever reason it shouldn't be ported onto the Switch? Whatever you think, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I wanted to make this video as a way to just get my thoughts about the Prime Trilogy out there. I've been hearing a lot of rumors ever since November about, oh look, a random retailer announced it. That's so cool. Oh well, look, it's going to be announced during the Game Awards. Oh well, Prime 4 is delayed. That must mean Prime Trilogy must be delayed, right? Just wait for that February Direct. Just wait for that March Direct. Just wait for that May Direct. E3! And all that sort of stuff. <laughs> really eating away at me at this point with no solid news to talk about it. So I might as well just dedicate a discussion video to it instead of just waiting for a couple more months for any possible news to talk about the subject. So I hope you enjoy. If you like Metroid content, feel free to click on the video above. It's a video where I review Metroid 2, talking about what I think about its gameplay, mechanics, visuals, music, Music, story and all that sort of stuff. If you're interested, please feel free to watch it. With that being said, I'm the Metroid Trainer. Hope you like, favorite, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stick around for next time because I'll be seeing you later.